This is setting up Python on Windows. This is going to be a really short screencast. I'm not even going to write any code in this screencast. The only reason why I'm, I'm doing this screencast is to, sell, is to provide a demonstration of a common problem that happens when Python is installed on Windows and to show a resolution. Um, Python runs on Windows, it runs beautifully, but it doesn't come with Windows by default. On the Mac it comes by default, on Linux it comes by default, but um, for Windows it doesn't come by default. So you have to install it. The way you install it is by going to python.org, download it, run the installer on your machine, and um, all of the Python binaries will get put into a um, subdirectory on your uh, main drive. But one of the problems with installing Python on Windows, and I have no idea why this is the case, but unlike almost all software that exists out there in the world today, um, there is one final step that Python does not do, the Python installer does not do on Windows, and that is to change your system path. So this screencast is going to demonstrate how to change your system path on Windows to accommodate Python and to be able to run it from the command line. Okay, so I have my Windows 7 machine here, and um, I'm running on emulation, but it's the same Windows 7 as you probably have in front of you. Um, if you have Windows XP or Windows Vista or something older than that, um, that's um, everything that we do here will be more or less analogous and you should be able to find um, all of the settings that we're going to go through. But basically, um, I've set this machine up to have the common problem that uh, Windows machines have when you um, create a, a Python installation, which is when I go to the command prompt, here's what this will look like. The command prompt will open and I'll type in Python and nothing will happen even though I just ran the Python installer. I know that Python is installed on my machine and the way I know that I, it's installed on my machine is I can type um, dir c colon backslash python27 and I can see all this fun stuff inside the Python. Um, you can see the python.exe and all the stuff that's in there, right? So Python's on my machine. Um, why can't I run it? And the reason has to do with something called the system path. The system path is something that Windows uses to determine which subdirectories it will look in whenever you execute a, um, an executable program at the command line. So if I type in Python and Python 2.7 is not located in the system path, then Windows can't find it. It's just not very intelligent when it comes to um, locating um, applications um, that you've installed on there. Um, but you can fix this and it's not a big deal to fix. It's a one-time thing that you have to do. You can go into system settings and make a change to your system path. Now one thing that I'm going to do before I do that though is I'm going to show you how to um, display your system path. And the way to display your system path at the command line is to type echo uh, percent sign path and another percent sign. Um, the percent sign indicates this is a variable, this is a system variable, and that you want to um, have it type out the value of the system variable. Now there's a lot of stuff here, right? You can see that there's um, references to program files and some application directories, the Windows system directory, some other junk here. Um, and basically what you're looking for is to see that Python is not part of your system path, which is what we expected at this point. We know it's not working right now. Um, but one other thing to pay attention to here is how the system path is set up. Um, you can see that we have uh, a drive letter, a colon, backslashes, a bunch of subdirectories, but then you see we have a, um, a semicolon. So each location, each subdirectory on the Windows drive is separated with a semicolon, and that's important to remember because what we need to do at this point is to add an additional subdirectory, which is that Python 2.7 subdirectory you saw a minute ago. We need to add this to the system path, and we're going to separate the other things that are in there with a semicolon. It's very important that everything that's in here be separated with a semicolon because that's the way that Windows parses all of the different um, elements of the system path. It has to be path, semicolon, path, semicolon, path, semicolon, path, semicolon. And when you add your own in there, it's also got to be delimited with a semicolon. Okay, how do we change the system path? First step is to go into computer settings. So I'm going to um, right click on my computer and select properties. Um, if you're on another version of Windows or if you don't have a computer icon on your desktop, you can actually also get to this um, using um, control panel as well too. 
um, because this is a control panel setting. You can see it's telling me control panel home and all this other stuff, right? So we say advanced system settings. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. This will take a second. Windows is loading advanced system settings. And then what you'll see is a system properties dialog. The system properties dialog is clunky and hard to work with. It hasn't changed fundamentally since probably Windows 2000, but ultimately um, this is where you have to go to change the system path um, on a Windows machine. And the button you want to hit here is at the bottom. It says environment variables. This is where you change your system path. Now there are more environment variables than just the system path. You can see at the top there's uh, temporary directories and then at the bottom there's some other junk, um, some other settings and things like that. But as you scroll down in this list of system variables, you can see that you have one called path, which is what we're looking for, right? All right, so we say edit path and Windows gives you this singularly uninspired dialog box, variable name path, variable value, blah, blah, blah. There's a ton of junk in here, right? Um, let me show you a trick for working with this because the amount of space that they give you to work with this is so small. Um, what I sometimes do is I'll select all of this. Um, I will cut it out and I'll paste it into Notepad just so I can see what I'm working with, right? Um, Notepad also in its glory does not give me word wrap by default, but I can turn that on, right? And now I can see what's going on in my system path and I can fix this problem that I have by adding the Python directory. And you can just add it onto the end there. The way to do this is to type a semicolon, C colon backslash Python 27. Um, there does not need to be a semicolon at the end of this, um, but there does need to be a semicolon at the beginning of this, right? So I'm going to pause and let you sync that in there. You can see what this looks like. There's a whole bunch of junk here, but fortunately you don't have to edit the whole thing. And now that I'm done and it looks good, hopefully, I'm going to go back, cut this again, minimize notepad, go back into my path variable and paste it, right? So I say OK. And then I say OK again, and I say OK one more time, and then I can close the system control panel. Now there's one other thing that I have to do at this point, and that is that any command prompt windows that you have open at this point are not informed of the change that you just made, which is unfortunate. But at any rate, all you have to do is close and reopen. OK, close, reopen, command prompt again. Now the first thing I'll do just to make sure that the change that I made worked is I'll type in uh, echo percent path percent and bingo it looks like we have a Python 2.7 at the end there it wrapped around but it, it's actually there and now you can see um, I can type Python at the command line and the Python interpreter will show up. Hooray! So that's it.